This is a grammatical sentence formation course being taught by M. Kadirvali Chanak. Dear friends, are you ready? Have you taken your note? Please keep it ready to start writing. Today, we are going to see conversion of simple sentence to compound sentence part 4. You just write heading conversion of simple sentence to compound sentence part 4. Conversion of simple sentence to compound sentence part 4. You just refer to part 1 for all the explanations about the conversion of simple sentence to compound sentence. You see here, I already explained about the simple sentence and uh, compound sentence. Okay? So here, simple sentence is main class with your phrase. That's why you can talk about Main class with your phrase is the name compound sentence. Matapora. A simple sentence is nothing but main class with your phrase. Okay? Totally it is called a simple sentence. That's the compound sentence. Matapora. Understand? Shall we start? Okay. His friend having helped him, he is prospering. His friend having helped him, he is prospering. So here, his friend having helped him is a phrase. He is prospering is a main clause. Now, phrase is in a group of words, but subject to verb. Understand? Main clause is subject to verb. When you take it, you will get complete sense. Phrase, you will not get complete sense. You will get some sense, that's all. Okay? So, Praise is the compound sentence. His friend having helped him, he is prospering. Upon the case, he is going to pass to the world. So, we will maintain it. His friend has helped him. Upon the subject to verb. So, that is called a main clause. Understand? His friend has helped him, and so he is prospering. His friend has helped him, and so he is prospering. You see here, meaning for the simple sentence. Our friend, our help and your caral, our person the other order crown. His friend having helped him, he is prospering. Compound sentence. His friend has helped him, and so he is prospering. His friend has helped him, and so he is prospering. His friend, our help and your crown, other than other than, and so other than, our person the other order crown. He is prospering. His friend has helped him and so he is prospering. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Simple sentence. His friend having helped him, he is prospering. Compound sentence. His friend has helped him and so he is prospering. Next. Simple sentence. Being a cripple, he cannot ride a horse. Being a cripple, he cannot ride a horse. Being a cripple is a phrase. He cannot ride a horse. It's a main class. Totally it is called a simple sentence. Being a cripple. Mudamaha irkarada, nundiyaha irkarada, avanada, or a horse ride panna mudiyadu. Being a cripple, he cannot ride a horse. Ipa being vandarukhe. Being vandha enna podano? Be verb podano. Apo main class le enna tense le vardun paakano. Past le vandha was podana. Plural are the verb plural. Matha case le, is or the verb. So, apa conjunction in a part of room? And so, be just in your note down parano. And then the case is a privilege change out. Okay. Well, Kapoor sense parga. He is a cripple and therefore he cannot ride a horse. I will cripple arka nundi air crown. And therefore, adanal, ahaya, he cannot ride a horse. Avanala, or horse, ride panamudi, savari panamudi adi. In the case of and therefore and so, he is not used to it. He is a cripple and therefore he cannot ride a horse. Shall I repeat them? Okay. Being a cripple, he cannot ride a horse. Compound sentence. He is a cripple and therefore he cannot ride a horse. And so he cannot ride a horse. That is not used to it. Understand? Next. Simple sentence. Finding himself in difficulty, he went to his teacher for help. Finding himself in difficulty, he went to his teacher for help. Finding himself in difficulty is a phrase. He went to his teacher for help is a main class. Totally, it is called a simple sentence. Now, 
பிளீஸ் சி த மீனிங் அவன் கஷ்டத்துல இருக்கிறத கண்டு அவன் அவனுடைய டீச்சரிடம் ஹெல்ப்புக்காண்டி போனான் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் ஃபைண்டி ஹிம் செல்ஃப் இன் டிஃபிகல்டி ஹி வென்ட் இஸ் டீச்சர் ஃபார் ஹெல்ப் இப்போ இந்த கேஸில் எப்படி காம்பவுண்டை மாற்றிய அங்கே சிம்பிளில் மெயின் கிளாஸில் வென்ட் பாஸ்டன்ஸ் இருக்கு அப்போ அதையும் பாஸ்டன்ஸு இங்கே மெயின்டைன் பண்ணும் அப்போ ஹி ஃபவுண்ட் ஹிம் செல்ஃப் இன் டிஃபிகல்டி அண்ட் வென்ட் இஸ் டீச்சர் ஃபார் ஹெல்ப் ஹி ஃபவுண்ட் ஹிம் செல்ஃப் இன் டிஃபிகல்டி அண்ட் வென்ட் இஸ் டீச்சர் ஃபார் ஹெல்ப் அவன் கஷ்டத்தில் இருக்கிறத கண்டான் அவனே அவன் கஷ்டத்தில் இருக்கிறத கண்டான் அண்ட் வென்ட் இஸ் டீச்சர் ஃபார் ஹெல்ப் அவன் அவன் டீச்சரிடம் ஹெல்ப்புக்காண்டி போனான் ஹி ஃபவுண்ட் ஹிம் செல்ஃப் இன் டிஃபிகல்டி அண்ட் வென்ட் இஸ் டீச்சர் ஃபார் ஹெல்ப் ஷல் ஐ ரிப்பீட் தம் ஓகே சிம்பிள் சென்டென்ஸ் ஃபைண்டிங் ஹிம் செல்ஃப் இன் டிஃபிகல்டி ஹி வென்ட் இஸ் டீச்சர் ஃபார் ஹெல்ப் காம்பவுண்ட் சென்டென்ஸ் ஹி ஃபவுண்ட் ஹிம் செல்ஃப் இன் டிஃபிகல்டி அண்ட் வென்ட் இஸ் டீச்சர் ஃபார் ஹெல்ப் நெக்ஸ்ட் சிம்பிள் சென்டென்ஸ் மை ஃப்ரெண்ட் பீ நவ் இன் மும்பாய் ஐ ஷுட் கோ தி டு மீட் ஹிம் my friend being now in mumbai i should go there to meet him my friend being now in mumbai is a phrase i should go there to meet him is a main clause totally it is called a simple sentence your friend ipo mumbai la irukiradal na avana meet panna ange poven my friend being now in mumbai i should go there to meet him appo idha case la being nu vandata modala be verb ah use pananum conjunction vandu and so correct ah irukum understand compound sentence my friend is now in mumbai my friend is now in mumbai and so i shall go there to meet him my friend is now in mumbai and so i shall go there to meet him my friend is now in mumbai is a main clause i shall go there to meet him another main clause totally it is called a compound sentence understand so epo me being vandata and so and therefore use panna correct ah irukum adukku munadi be verb use pandra appo varum okay tense ah paakona ninge enoda friend ipo mumbai la irukran adanalae avana meet panna na ange poven my friend is now in mumbai and so i shall go there to meet him Shall I repeat them? Okay. Simple sentence. My friend being now in Mumbai, I shall go there to meet him. Compound sentence. My friend is now in Mumbai. And so, I shall go there to meet him. Next. Simple sentence. In the event of such a thing happening, I should take a long leave. In the event of such a thing happening, I should take a long leave. in the event of such a thing happening is a phrase i should take a long leave is a main clause totally it is called a simple sentence appo inge in the event of such a thing happening or thing ithagaya or thing nadakkum pachathile i should take a long leave na or long leave edukano in the event of such a thing happening i should take a long leave compound sentence let such a thing happen ஏன்னா வேர்பு சப்ஜெக்ட் வேர்பு கொண்டாடணும்ல ஓகே லெட் சச் எ திங் ஹேப்பன் இத்தகைய ஒரு திங் நடக்கட்டும் அண்ட் தென் அதுக்கப்புறம் ஐ ஷுட் டேக் ஏ லாங் லீவ் அதுக்கடுத்து நான் ஒரு லாங் லீவ் எடுக்கணும் லெட் சச் எ திங் ஹேப்பன் லெட் சச் எ திங் ஹேப்பன் அண்ட் தென் ஐ ஷுட் டேக் ஏ லாங் லீவ் ஐ ரிப்பீட் தான் ஓகே இந்த இவெண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் சச் எ திங் ஹேப்பனிங் i should take a long leave compound sentence let such a thing happen and then i should take a long leave next to make certain of getting a place you must apply early to make certain of getting a place you must apply early to make certain of getting a place is a phrase you must apply early is a main clause totally it is called a simple sentence to make certain of getting a place or a place nichayama pera you must apply early ni seekrama earlier apply panna vendum 
To make certain of getting a place, you must apply early. Now you see how the compound sentence is. You must apply early. Otherwise, you cannot make certain of getting a place. You must apply early. Otherwise, you cannot make certain of getting a place. Nee, get it apply panna vendum. Otherwise, apply illay na. Niche ma or place a peru the mudiyadu. You cannot make certain of getting a place. So I repeat them. Okay. Simple sentence. To make certain of getting a place, you must apply early. Compound sentence. You must apply early. Otherwise, apply lena. Otherwise, you cannot make certain of getting a place. Next. Simple sentence. He intends to try again. Not withstanding his repeated failure. He intends to try again, not withstanding his repeated failures. He intends to try again is a main clause, not withstanding his repeated failures. Is a phrase. Totally it is called a simple sentence. Now, a phrase is correct. If you have repeated failure, you will try to intention. You will try to do it. He intends to try again, not withstanding his repeated failures. Upon not withstanding, what is equal to the end of Yet. Okay? End of the day. You will see the comments. He has failed repeatedly. He has failed repeatedly. Yet, he intends to try again. He has failed repeatedly. Yet, he intends to try again. He has repeated failures. End of the day. He intends to try again. My body try panna, I will come to one ear. He intends to try again. So I repeat them. Okay. My body try panna. Another thought ear. Apply it to the law. Okay. Simple sentence. He intends to try again. Not withstanding his repeated failures. Compound sentence. He has failed repeatedly. Yet he intends to try again. Next. Simple sentence. In spite of all my advice. He has done this foolish thing. In spite of all my advice, he has done this foolish thing. In spite of all my advice is a phrase. He has done this foolish thing is a main clause. Totally it is called a simple sentence. In spite of all my advice, in the foolish thing say the crown. Praise Kuratavaro. Class Quarabodi Parga, Adkatabodi, I will take uh, meaning, okay? In spite of all my advice, he has done this foolish thing. You see here, Kapur Sanet, I have advised him a lot. I have advised him a lot. Yet, he has done this foolish thing. Upper, in spite of not withstanding one another, yet to know. Understand? I have advised him a lot. Yet, he has done this foolish thing. Now, I want to advice on this. All of the advice Okay? Advice on the verb. I have advised him a lot. I want to give him advice on this. Yet, he has done this foolish thing. He has done this thing. He has done this advice on this. He has done this foolish thing. I have advised him a lot. Yet, he has done this foolish thing. I repeat them. Okay. In spite of all my advice, he has done this foolish thing. I have advised him a lot, yet he has done this foolish thing. Last one. Simple sentence. By reason of his great ability, he has been able to win a high position. By reason of his great ability, he has been able to win a high position. By reason of his great ability, is a phrase. He has been able to win a high position, is a main clause. Totally, it is called a simple sentence. By reason of his great ability, our great ability in Karnamaha, Theravin Karnamaha, he has been able to win a high position. Our Nada, or high position, when Mana Mudindri Kiradu. By reason of his great ability, he has been able to win a high position. He has great ability. I want to ask you to tell me that I am a subject verb. Understand? 
has great ability. அவனுக்கு அதிக திறமை பெற்றிருக்கிறான் அவனுக்கு அதிக திறமை பெற்றிருக்க அல்லது அவனுக்கு அதிக திறமை இருக்கிறது அப்படின்னு சொல்லிக்கலாம் ஹி ஹாஸ் கிரேட் எபிலிட்டி அவனுக்கு அதிக திறமை இருக்கிறது அன் தேர் போர் அன் சோ ரெண்டே போட்டுக்கலாம் அன் தேர் போர் அன் சோ ஏதாவது ஒண்ணு ஹி ஹாஸ் பின் ஏபிள் டு வின் ஹை பொசிஷன் அவனுக்கு அதிக திறமை இருக்கிறது அதனால அவனால ஒரு ஹை பொசிஷனை வின் பண்ண முடிந்திருக்கிறது ஹி ஹாஸ் கிரேட் எபிலிட்டி அண்ட் தேர் போர் ஹி ஹாஸ் பின் ஏபிள் டு when you high position so i repeat them okay simple sentence by reason of his great ability he has been able to win a high position compound sentence he has great ability and therefore he has been able to win a high position is it clear have you written correctly have you understood correctly tomorrow is the last class okay after that i am going to take uh, conversion of simple sentence to complex sentence wait for okay let me finish up to this level thank you very much for having attended this class continuously if you like this course if you are interested in attending this class if it creates any positive vibration in your mind please share with your friends and others it will definitely certainly and surely make my dreams realized i will meet you this time tomorrow until then goodbye m kadrivedu thank you